Greetings, Uncle Traveling Matt here, and it's the end of day two of our Scotland trip, and we are in the town of Uig, um, in on the Isle of Skye. So, what have we done today? Well, we woke up quite early, really. We were wake, woken up, actually. There was, like, this van, van that pulled up behind us, and it was full of guys setting up a gazebo on a lay-by, and I'm like, what's that all about? But it turned out that they were part of some, like, cycling holiday, and these, these guys were cycling like 75 miles in a day and having a cup of tea stop every 20 miles. And there, these gazebos with a cup of tea stop. Um, and when we, just before we got off, and we like we left about nine o'clock, right? The first guys were pulling in. So they must have done 20 miles already by nine o'clock. But it was absolutely throwing it down. So I really didn't envy them that. Uh, and it threw it down pretty solidly until about two in the afternoon. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is the problem when you come up to places like Scotland. You can't rely on the weather at all. Um, and it, it was horrendous. It was absolutely horrendous. So we went to the, the major town. It's actually only a village uh, of Southern Sky called Broad Ford. And um, we went to the co-op there um, at, because we needed to buy a few supplies. Uh, and then we also um, had our breakfast. And um, we, we had a breakfast in a really cool place. It was like one of those kind of caravans that um, you can buy like sausage sandwiches and stuff off. But the guy who ran it, his name was Richard. He was a local guy. And he was a bit of a dude. And he was telling us lots of interesting stuff. Uh, so he explained to Thomas what haggis was. Because haggis, had, like Thomas had been told a whole story by uh, Dave, our Scottish friend before, that it was an animal with one leg longer than the other that runs around mountains clockwise and he did uh, he did let him know what the the true fact of the matter was um but also uh, he was telling us about the local music scene uh, that's largely in gaelic and then um, he was telling us about uh, you know that sky has a new flag and it only had it like two years ago they they made this flag and it, it's quite cool we have seen them flying around and it's like an offset cross like a lot of the scottish islands and the scandinavian countries but it's an offset celtic cross uh, with a viking longship on it so it looks pretty cool so yeah anyway we we went to broadford and then we drove around and we thought because it was raining we would go um we went to the talisca distillery because my friend uh finney uh likes that whiskey and he'd asked me to go there uh, but it wasn't operating uh, so then we went to uh, a castle, um, Dunvegan Castle. I might be mispronouncing that. But we went to this Dunvegan Castle because we were thinking, well, it, it's somewhere undercover. But it, it was like £14 for an adult and £9 for a child to get in. So, like, we don't really want to go to a castle that much. Um, even though it did have a lock of Bonnie Prince Charlie's hair in it, apparently. Uh, so then we went to a lighthouse that my brother recommended called Port Niche. Um, and Point Niche. And... Actually, um, when we got there, it cleared up and it was gloriously sunny. And this place was unbelievable. It was like, there was a bit of a walk to get to it, a bit of a climb down and up. Uh, but the views were absolutely stunning. These epic cliffs uh, with waterfalls cascading down them. And the, the, the kind of dark rock, it just reminded me of when I was in the Faroe Isles. I mean, it literally is very, very similar. And there is, across the whole of the island of the sky, there's a bit of a Faroe Isles feel to it uh, which is pretty cool um because i really like the farewells uh, and the weather was bad there too so anyway yeah then we we carried on the weather stayed nice so we went to uh Portree, which is the capital um and had a, a bite to eat and then we went on to um the K Kilang, i think it's called which is somewhere else that my brother recommended my brother comes to sky uh, a few quite a bit and it, it was some kind of strange rock formations that there's a walk up to them. And it was a really, really nice walk with some incredible views. So, yeah, that was that. We're now in Uig. Uh, we've got a campsite tonight because um, we needed to charge up the phones and uh, the drone and a few other things. So, basically, everything was running on empty. And we could do with a shower. So... We, we've gone for a bit of civilization tonight. We've even gone for the electric hookup for the second time only in Bongo's uh, life with us. And, uh, so, yeah, we're, we're kind of taking it easy, chilling out. Last night, the, um, the midges were horrendous. So far tonight, they've not been a problem, but I see a couple of them lurking. So I'm worried, are they going to appear? So that's that. Tomorrow morning, quite early. We're heading off on the ferry, which is just over there, 
uh, and we're going up to the Outer Hebrides. So keep traveling. <laughs> 